Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm currently sat in my cheap BMW F31, which had the blown engine. Obviously we sorted out the engine now, and in this video I wanna install and code a fresh set of injectors in. Now I've been in touch with a company called Diesel Fix Noose, and they have kindly supplied a set of remanufactured injectors. Now, I just wanna state these are not brand new injectors, but when you see them, you will think they are brand new injectors. So what I'm gonna do is open up these boxes and show you exactly what they look like. So then, as you can see, injectors are well packaged, completely sealed off to the element, so you know, no dirt or anything can get in there. Let's open one up. Now, just take a look at that. Like I said, these things look brand new. So, of course, a uh, brand new copper washer on, so I haven't got to install that. Uh, comes with all of the uh, blanking plugs, so again, no dirt can get inside. And yeah, these have obviously been cleaned up, um, stripped, tested, and I actually have a test report as well. There, There is a test report that comes with each injector, so you know, you can be sure that each injector is working exactly as it should. And so it should just be a case of installing these into the engine and then getting them coded to the car. Now, I just wanna thank Diesel Fixness for sending out this set of injectors. There will be a link along with a discount code where you guys can get yourself a set of injectors as well. You can save yourself some money. And um, they don't just do injectors for, you know, these cars they don't just do injectors for BMWs, they do injectors for a whole wide range of cars. So yeah, like I said, check them out and, um, you know, consider them when you are purchasing a set of injectors. But. Um, um, yeah, I think that's enough said. Let's get outside, let's get these injectors installed and see how we get on. Okay, so first things first then, we need to get the new injectors installed. Now obviously, if you have to remove your original injectors, a little bit more work involved, but as you can see, I have no injectors in place. If when it comes to removal of your original injectors you find out that they are stock I actually have a video already how to remove a stock diesel injector so feel free to check that out but um yeah should be ready to install these new injectors now there we go they all seem to be seated so now we need to get the injector clamps installed as well as the high pressure fuel pipes that go to the fuel rail as well. Okay, so let's get all of the clamps installed first, just so that we know these injectors are in the correct position. It's relatively easy to install these clamps. They can really only go on one way, in one position. So you just slide the clamp over, over the flat on the injector and the bolt. And of course, only go in the bolt hole it's an E10 bolt, or takes an E10 socket, should I say. And now I'm going to torque all these clamps down to 26 newton meters. Job done. Now, as I said, I'm going to get all of the high pressure fuel pipes installed. They go from the injector to the fuel rail. Again, pretty self-explanatory which one goes where. I mean, they are individually shaped to each injector, so it'll either fit or it won't. And this has got to be for injector one. I'm not going to tighten them down yet. I'm just going to get them all in position. So I need to torque the fuel rail down as well. All right, let's get the high pressure fuel pipes tightened down. They take a 90 millimeter spanner or wrench. Make sure they're all started by hand first. You don't want to cross thread these. And then yeah, you can go ahead and tighten them down. Now there is a torque setting for these. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. I can check, but it's not that tight to be honest. You think you have to go, you know, absolutely ham with these, but you really don't. 
it's like 20 newton meters or something like that. Now all that's left is to install the leak off pipes and secure them with the clips. All right, so we'll just remove these plugs on top of the injectors. And drop this pipe into place, should snap into place. And we have our securing clips. So we'll just get these installed and four. So now that we're in the car, we have the ignition in the on position. We have our scan tool loaded up. I absolutely love these scan tools, they, you know, make it so much easier and quicker. I mean, I've used like ISTA and IMPA for BMW in the past. Of course, you can use your, you know, genuine dealer software, but I just find that these scan tools are just so much quicker and easier, like I said. So yeah, I'm basically gonna show you if you have the same type of scan tool, how to get to the injector coding menu. So you're gonna to wanna to go to diagnose, find your vehicle, which is BMW. Okay, then we want to go to special function. Now, while I leave this to load up, I know there's gonna be people out there saying, I've replaced injectors in the past, they never needed coded. Now, in theory, this engine will run without these injectors being coded, but they will be, the engine will be running in accordance to the old injector. So because these are basically fresh injectors, they won't be, they won't be running as efficiently as the, as they should, they'll be running like the old ones were. So yeah, always best to code your injectors and some engines, as a matter of fact, won't actually run unless you code the injectors to the car. So yeah, long story short, best to code your injectors. Then we want to go to drive and then we want to go to injection quantity compensation. This should be the correct menu. Now we can see these are the current injectors that are coded to the DME. So these will be the old injectors, of course. So what we need to do now is head over to the engine bay and read off the codes that are on the new injectors for each cylinder, and then we'll enter them in in replacement of these old codes. Now, if you're wondering where to look on the injectors, on Bosch injectors, I don't know about other brands, but on Bosch injectors, it should say right on the top, your injector code. Now, it's not the part number, of course, that's just all numbers. It's the, it's the part that has a mixture of numbers and letters. It's about seven or eight characters. So I'll read off that and write it down for all four injectors. And like I said, we'll head back into the car. So once we have our current values wrote down, we can go to continue, and then we want to go to enter new adjustment values, F1. For what cylinder do you wish to enter the new value? So we'll go to cylinder one, and then basically we just go to match our cylinder one. Cylinder one, by the way, is the cylinder at the front of the engine, so where the crankshaft pulley is. Cylinder four is the one at the back where the clutch is. So yeah, I'll just input all these, and then it should be relatively straightforward. And there we go then, as you can see, all new values entered, and match what is now in the car. Do you wish to enter new values for other cylinders? No, we've already done them all, so no. Then we just need to go to save adjustment values. That's F2. Do you wish to store the following? Yes, I do. Just gonna double check them. Yeah, they're all correct. Yes. Saving the adjustment values. The ignition's just switched off for 10 seconds. As you can see, ignitions came now back on. And the following values have saved permanently. That's that job done.
So then, there we go. Fresh set of diesel injectors now installed and coded to the car. So as I've shown, it's really not a difficult exercise. I mean, the most difficult part that you'll probably come across is removing your original injectors, which like I said, if you do have a stock injector, I do have a video how to remove that. Um, I'll leave the link down uh, below for that. Um, also, again, if you want to get yourself a fresh set of remanufactured um, injectors for a really is a fraction of the price of a brand new set then again check out the link in the description box below as well there'll also there'll also be a discount code where you can save yourself for, uh, some money um, i want to thank you all for watching um, give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and i will see you all in that next one